Let's start with the camera. Ever since our first Pixel five years ago, the Pixel camera has set the bar and reshaped the industry. Our leadership in computational photography and machine learning have led to some remarkable camera capabilities over the years, and have let Pixel users take some extraordinary pictures, even when we've used ordinary camera components. With Pixel 6, we're applying all that software expertise to a fully upgraded camera system for the most advanced smartphone camera in the world. It's leagues ahead of our previous Pixel cameras, from the hardware to the software to the computational photography. For starters, let's take a look at the main camera. Both Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have a massive new 1 over 1.3 inch 50 megapixel sensor. We combine adjacent pixels on the sensor to get extra large 2.4 micron pixels. With night sight, the Pixel camera has always been able to do a lot with very little light. But now the primary sensor captures up to two and a half times as much light thanks to those huge pixels. This means you're gonna get photos with even greater detail and richer color. Both phones also have completely new ultra-wide cameras with larger sensors than before, so photos look great when you want to fit more in your shot. Pixel 6 Pro has a larger ultra-wide front camera that records 4K video. It also has a telephoto lens with 4x optical zoom for getting in close. That's not easy to fit in a phone without making it super thick. To get that much magnification, the Pixel camera uses what's called folded optics. A flawless prism bends the light 90 degrees so that the camera can fit in the body of the phone. And you can get up to 20x zoom with an improved version of Pixel's Super Res Zoom our advanced computational approach to combining optical and digital zoom. Finally, the sensor behind the telephoto lens is even larger than the primary rear sensor in past Pixel phones, so you can capture great low-light zoom shots with night sight. When this amazing hardware is paired with Tensor, we can build new camera features that were impossible before. Video is a great example. Video is a hard use case for computational photography because you're basically taking lots of photos very quickly. Applying a machine learning algorithm to a single photo is very different than running the same algorithm for each frame 60 times per second. We've always dreamed of getting Pixel's video quality up to the signature photo quality, but it wasn't possible. The processor just wouldn't be able to keep up. So we spent years on this problem and have made a lot of progress. We started by developing more efficient methods for applying tone mapping edits very quickly and doing everything we could to get the most out of the sensor. We also developed an algorithm called HDRNet, which could deliver the signature Pixel look much more efficiently. With Tensor, we're able to embed parts of HDRNet directly into the ISP and accelerate it to make the process faster and more efficient. With this system, Pixel 6 can now run HDRNet on 4K video at 60 frames per second. That's 498 million pixels each second. And this is what Pixel 6 video looks like. You can see what a huge improvement this is. The color accuracy is excellent, with a big boost to the vividness, the stabilization, and overall video quality. This is all thanks to the bigger camera sensors, Google's cutting edge machine learning, and the efficiency gains from the new Tensor chip. It's a giant step forward. Have you ever had a perfect photo ruined by something random in the background? Let's say you want to be the only one on the beach in your photos. If you don't have access to a deserted island or don't want to spend hours in a photo editing suite, Pixel's new Magic Eraser can do the job. In Google Photos, you'll see suggestions for distractions you might want to remove from your photo. Erase them all at once or tap to remove them one by one. What really sets this feature apart is how we're able to figure out what you're trying to remove and how well we can fill what's in its place. Even if something is not suggested, you can still erase that distraction. Just circle them and they disappear. And you can use Magic Eraser on Pixel to clean up all your photos whether you took them a minute ago or years ago. Here's a problem everyone has seen before. You go to take a picture, but the lighting isn't great and the subject is moving around. You can't quite get the perfect photo. It's a little blurry. Here's the same scene with and without our new face unblur feature. Normally this great moment would be a blurry throwaway photo. There's too much motion and not enough light. It's a physics problem that Tensor's on-device machine learning can solve. Let's talk about what's happening here. Before you even take a picture, the Pixel camera is using face SSD to figure out if there are faces in the scene. If they're blurry, it spins up a second camera so it's primed and ready to go when you tap the shutter button. In that moment, Pixel 6 takes two images simultaneously, one from the ultra-wide camera and one from the main. The main image uses a normal exposure to reduce noise, and the ultra-wide uses a faster exposure that minimizes blur. Machine learning fuses the sharper face from the ultra-wide with the low noise shot from the main camera to get the best of both into the image. As a last step, Pixel camera takes one final look to see if there's any remaining blur in the fused image, estimates the level and direction of the blur, and then removes it for you. In all, it takes four machine learning models combining data from two cameras to deliver the scene you know you saw but couldn't get from your camera until now with face on blur. So most of the time we want to eliminate blurriness from our pictures, but sometimes a bit of blur can actually add to the picture, especially for action shots that don't seem to have much action. Pixel 6 introduces motion mode, which brings a professional look to your nature scenes, urban photos, or even a night out. Typically you'd create these effects with panning and long exposures, techniques that require fancy equipment and lots of practice. Motion mode makes it easy. For action shots like this one, the Pixel camera takes several photos and combines them, using on-device machine learning and computational photography to identify the subject of the photo, figure out what's moving, and add aesthetic blur to the background. For a nature shot like this, the camera applies computational photography and ML to align multiple frames, determine motion vectors, 
and interpolate intermediate frames that are blurred, so you get this silky smooth waterfall. That sounds hard, but watch how easy this is. Nothing captures the energy of New York like a fast-moving subway train. With motion mode, just wait on the subway platform for the right moment, snap a photo of your friend, and you have a vibrant, artistic photo to remember this moment. Now we know that not every picture is taken in the Pixel Camera app. Some of these new camera capabilities and image quality improvements extend to any app that uses the camera, including your favorite camera apps. Here's Snap founder and CEO, Evan Spiegel, to tell you more. Hey, I'm Evan. The camera was once a tool for documenting important life moments. Today, people use the Snapchat camera for so much more as a platform for self-expression, creativity, and visual communication with friends. For Snapchatters, speed really matters. Billions of snaps are created every day, and our community wants to be ready to snap everyday moments as they happen. That's why we are always working on new ways to help Snapchatters get to our camera as quickly and easily as possible. We're excited to announce today that we are partnering with Google on a Pixel 6 feature called Quick Tap to Snap. This Pixel First feature puts the Snap camera directly into the lock screen for fast and easy access to the Snapchat camera. Just tap the back of your phone twice and you're into the camera. This new feature is a speedy and simple gesture that will help our community snap more moments before they disappear. We've designed QuickTap to launch into camera-only mode so Snapchatters can create snaps even if they haven't yet unlocked their device. Once you make a great snap that you wanna share, simply authenticate on your device to unlock the full app experience. With QuickTap to Snap, Pixel 6 will be the fastest phone to make a snap. And we're also working with Google on exclusive augmented reality lenses and bringing other key Pixel features like live translation directly into the chat feature on Snapchat. Snapchatters can talk to their friends in more than 10 languages and conversations will be translated in real time. These are the first features coming to Snapchat on Pixel 6 and we can't wait to bring more innovation to our community with our partners. I'm Florian and I lead Google's Image Equity Initiative our cross-product mission to improve camera and image tools for people of color. Going back decades, cameras have centered light skin, a bias that's crept into many of our modern digital imaging products and algorithms, especially because they're not being tested with diverse enough groups of people. Photos are symbols of what and who matter to us collectively, so it's critical that they work equitably for everyone, especially communities of color like mine, who haven't always been seen fairly by these tools. This year, one of the advances in Pixel 6 and Google Photos that we're most excited about is Real Tone. We knew that building for the community meant we had to acknowledge our own gaps and learn from the folks who know this issue best. So we started by working with image experts like photographers, cinematographers, and colorists who are celebrated for their beautiful and accurate imagery of communities of color. We asked them to test our cameras in a wide range of tough lighting conditions. And in the process, they took thousands of portraits that made our image data sets 25 times more diverse to look more like the world around us. They worked directly with our engineers, telling them what was already working well and where we needed to do better to make sure our images highlighted the nuances of all skin tones equally. And they kept it real. When they had a really white background on the back or a light or anything, like they just looked very washed out. And you know, it's a beautiful pink sunset. There's no reason why she should be looking this green. For this, I would love it if the camera, if this, ca if this picture was darker. The second image, absolutely not. It, sh no, it was just the color was Everything was just ashy. If there isn't adequate light, the skin can sometimes skew a little gray or desaturated. When you take a picture of someone and they look gray, like that's not, you know, that's not good. It negated the blue. It like washed out the blue that would have had the, the brown hue show up more in his skin. I think that the instinct is suddenly if somebody is not used to shooting darker skin tones, the, the instinct is to just be like, you know, to shoot them much brighter. And it's just like, no, there really is like, we should appreciate and really sort of work toward like all the different hues and all the different tonalities. How do we make sure that when someone grabs that phone and it takes a photo of them, they see themselves? It should be that everybody just kind of looks like they look. All of that wisdom helped us make a more equitable camera. First, to make a great portrait, your phone has to see a face in the picture. And our experts helped us improve our face detection models so the camera sees you as you are. From there, we improved our auto white balance tuning to better reflect the beauty of your skin tone. And we improved our auto exposure tuning to make sure your skin looks like you, not unnaturally darker or brighter. They also inspired our teams to make advances like algorithmically reducing stray light that can make darker skin tones look ashy or washed out and making night sight portraits less blurry for folks like me. All of these changes are part of Real Tone, improvements that led these experts to vote Pixel 6 as the most inclusive camera available. In a blind test across top smartphone cameras, they rated Pixel 6's camera as best in rendering skin tone, brightness, richness, 
and detail for people of color. Google Photos will also have Real Tone baked into its auto-enhanced editing feature, so you always feel seen, from the instant you take a photo to the moment you edit and share it. But this mission goes beyond Google Apps. Real Tone will improve the camera performance for photos and videos in third-party apps, like Snapchat, because feeling seen shouldn't be limited to just one tool or company. This fall, Tensor is unlocking so many helpful camera features in Pixel 6, from improved video quality to face unblur to motion mode. We think it all adds up to Pixel 6 being the most advanced intelligent smartphone camera.